now I'm okay. Now my brain actually is factoring in what's important and what's not. And so that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's what we expect of the EMS crews too. And, and sometimes it is a lab abnormality, you know, Hey, their PCP sent them in because their creatinine is now five. It was 1.2 a month ago. Right. Sometimes it is like, Hey, they came in for chest pain. Trope is five cardiology is on board. Go. But for those cases where it's, it's not a single lab diagnosis perhaps, or single objective study diagnosis, um, I guess we would call them the, the clinical diagnoses. Mm -hmm. I think that thought process is so helpful. It just kind of gives us a initial path to walk, which you guys started and paved. Do you prefer, I mean, is your own personal preference two paragraphs of all the details in the world? Or is this, I mean, because sometimes, I mean, I'm sure it varies from ER provider to ER provider. I see some people write a book for an admission. I'm like, I would not want to have to read all that. And some people maybe do too little. And, you know, it's two sentences that maybe doesn't provide enough information. I guess it's probably a happy median, I would imagine. But as you said, I think one of the one of the drawbacks of the Epic Secure Chat uh, or the EHR Secure Chat, whichever one you're using, is that so much can be input together, but also there's the opportunity for uh, follow-up questions with a very low amount of friction, you know, as opposed to calling down, you get mm -hmm. the unit clerk, et cetera. And, and we have thankfully the same chart you all do. Mm -hmm. So in a day of paper charts, you know, maybe a longer sign out over the telephone made sense, or, you know, in, in early paging systems that made sense, you were character limited. You could basically tweet what your thoughts were. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think going to, you know, no more than a five or six line paragraph tops is plentiful. And even then you can probably get away with less. 